All right, now we're doing 7Q vowel count. This is by Jays HCP. All right, and 88% of the people like it. it. Looks like a bunch of people have done this one. Uh, we're going to return the number, uh, the count of vowels in the given string. We will consider A, E, I, O, U, but not Y. Uh, the input string will only consist of lowercase letters and or spaces. All right, so for this one, we're going to be using match proper, excuse me, the match method, which retrieves the result of matching a string against a regular expression, right? So we do uh, whatever dot match. What is it? We're going to do, yeah, uh, something dot match, and we're going to put the regex in here, like uh, this kind of regex or whatever. But the regex we're going to use on this one, uh, we're going to be using one of these ranges. We can't go to the ranges page, it's totally changed. Uh, as you can see, they call it groups and back references, so it doesn't even talk about this stuff anymore. But we're going to put inside brackets A E I O U, and that's going to find it for us. And then we're also going to use uh, these this flag here, this global search flag, to make sure uh, we get more than just one uh, vowel. All right. So for this, we're going to start off by saying const here to turn it into a concise syntax. Uh, we're going to say equal string, and then the rest of it we're going to turn it into an arrow, all right? And like I said, we're just gonna say str.match, and then we're gonna put in there the regex, which is in brackets right here, A-E-I-O-U. And then we're gonna put a G right here, and uh, we're going to, after that, we're gonna say, uh, should be good, dot length. Oh yeah, but we're gonna have a problem. I'll show you in a second, test it out. Well, that looks good, attempt it. Oh, but, 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 yeah. If there's nothing in there, if there's no, uh, what is it, vowels, we're going to have to do match the regex or, where is it, where is it, where is it? Actually, no, no, no. We're going to have to wrap this whole thing up in parentheses. And then we're going to have to do an or. And that's not or. Or an empty array. Now let's test it out. Still looks good. Attempt it. Ah, that looks better. And then submit it. Okay, cool. And we've got the best practice here. Let's go to my solutions. Uh, yeah, it's going to be whatever. It's still cool. Uh, 44 plus us. There's also a few other ways we could do it. Uh, let's go down here. We could also do like replace and uh, we'll say anything that's not this. Not A E I O U because that's what this caret symbol means. It's it's kind of the same as doing an exclamation point. Uh, so it's not this, and then we're going to replace whatever's not this with empty string, and then we're going to do a dot length as well. And that way we don't even have to bother with uh, one of these. But I tested them both out, and they're both like around six milliseconds. All right, so we did all that uh, very much like this one. Already did the best practice, and we'll see you next time.